Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a layout um, I created for the challenge over at Mystical Scrapbooks. Um, the first challenge for, well, goes live on the 1st of September and the theme is Scrap About Yourself. So this layout features a photo of me. I'm going to use a mixture of pattern papers. This first one is from Colour Blast and their limited edition and it's called Uniqueness. And I'm also going to use some papers from 49 and Market. But to start with I'm going to trim this piece of um, pattern paper. Well I'm not, I'm just going to trim the barcode off. And then I'm going to cut a one inch frame out of this. So I'm going to cut the centre of this pattern out, just leaving a one inch frame. I do this quite often because it gives me that centre section to use on the rest of the layout. So I only got one sheet of this paper and I wanted to map my photo with the same paper. So by cutting that centre out and just using the frame, I get the same effect. The cardstock that I'm going to put behind the actual photo and the rest of the layout, so this will go on top of that frame I've just cut, I'm going to trim that down to 11 and a quarter square so that the pattern paper that I've just used, uh, cut the centre out of, you can actually see quite a bit of it around the outside edge of the layout. Now I'll use my Versicolor Black Ink Cube to ink around the edges of both of those pieces of paper or cardstock. I'm going to use four small pieces of double sided tape to just hold this um, plain cardstock in position on top of that pattern paper because I'm actually going to sew around the edge of this to attach it to the or to attach them both together. Now I don't have enough of that green cardstock to map my photo on fully and that's the only sheet I had so the off cuts I'm going to use those I've trimmed them down I've left them the width that they were but I've trimmed them down so that they're six, two pieces of six inches and the other piece I cut just cut in halves. So I filed around my photo with my emery board and now I'm going to attach those strips of um, green cardstock to my photo so that they form a complete photo mat. I ink around the edge of that green mat and then I used my art glitter glue to attach that to that piece of pattern paper that we cut out of the middle of the background sheet. I'm sort of positioning it so that it's oh, what, about a quarter of an inch I suppose um, from the edge and from the top and then I will use my trimmer to trim it so that there's the same amount of pattern paper showing all around my photo. And then of course I'll ink around the outside edge of that second layer of matting. I used my Spellbinders Hexagons die to cut uh, 12 I think hexagons from pattern paper from the 49 and Market Botanicals um, range so it's called Curators Botanicals and it's um, beautiful paper nice and thick lovely to work with so I've cut uh, 12 I think of those um, hexagons and I have taken them to my sewing machine and stitched around the edge of each one of them and then I have inked around the edge of each one of them with my black ink cube now I'm just going to play around with placement once I'm happy with the placement of my hexagons, I'm going to use my art glitter glue to attach them to my background. I'll put a link in the description box below to the Mystical Scrapbooks uh, challenge. There are two challenges, so um, pop over and check them out. And also I'll put a link to all of the products that I'm using that I can find. So that might be helpful to you, but you could use whatever you've got. You don't have to use the same papers if you wanted to do this sort of layout. Also, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd really love that if you did. And um, if you give me a like and leave me a comment, I answer all of my comments. I read all of the comments and uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to leave me a comment.
I'm going to place a piece of scrap cardboard, it's an old box, well it's not so old, it's a box I got a kit in and um, so I'm just going to cut a piece of that and attach it to the back of my photo so that when I attach my photo to my layout it's going to be a little risen from the background. I'll then use my art glitter glue to attach my photo to my layout. Sometimes using glue or mixed media on your layout can cause your cardstock to crinkle or warp. I find that if I put them under a big pile of um, pattern paper pads, quite heavy, and leave them for a few hours, in some cases I just leave them overnight, they always flatten out lovely and uh, it, no crinkles at all. Once I had my photo stuck down I felt like I needed another hexagon off to the right there so I'm just going to add one more. The feature product for this month is chipboard and I have, I'm going to use some Memory Maze Linda's Scribbly Scribbly what? Linda's Scribbly Linda Scribble with Butterflies um, chipboard and also some Memory Maze, I don't know the name of that one, that's that happy tag. But I have painted them white, actually my husband spray painted them for me, saved me having to do it all by hand. He just spray painted all of my chipboard that I had laying around. And now I am adding some of the metallic waxes to it. So this particular one is called white gold and I'm just applying it with my finger. First of all I started by rubbing it on but then I wasn't that keen on the look that I got with that so I decided to pounce it on with my finger so I'm getting more of a texture. It's a bit bumpy and um, actually a better coverage. Uh, there's more intense colour there. So I'm going to do that to two leaves, two butterflies and uh, that happy tag there. So this is the chipboard I'm using and um, this is a memory maze one, it, all of these are in the pack and as I said I can't remember the name of it but I will link it below and these are the Linda's Scribble with Butterflies so there, there was actually a scribbly circle in there as well and there's butterflies and leaves. So um, yeah both I'll link both of those below if you're interested in having a look at them. My wax is dry now because it's the next day so I'm going to use my um, hot glue gun to attach those to my layout. The, this butterfly uh, that's sort of overlapping the photo, I was wondering about how that was going to go because it's going to be crooked but I used a bit of the hot um, glue to build the left hand side of that up a little bit so that it sort, sort of sits flat. Um, I'm also going to add some handmade flowers. Now I made these flowers some time ago and I do have a video showing how I made them so I will link that video in the description box below as well if you want to go and have a look at those but they're very simple to make they're both made with fabric so the black one is like a mesh and the um, gold one is tulle with a, a sequency sort of finish to it so yeah the um, video showing how I created those will be in the description box if you want to check that out I added a little bit of cardboard under that happy banner so that that would sit properly and level. So I'm going to use my Kaisercraft Alphabet uppercase dies and some black cardstock to cut out my name which is going to be my title. Now I've used these, this uh, way of doing the title on all of the layouts that I've been doing recently because I've been doing layouts of all of my family. There's still a few more to go. And my mother is turning 90 in December and I thought I might make an album for her that has a photo of each of us in it. And so this is this is the process that I'm going through at the moment. So that's why I'm using the same sort of um, title on all of them. So I've put um, cut my title out in black. I'm using my art glitter glue and my reverse tweezers to attach it to my layout and luckily enough that um, bottom piece of the plain cardstock is uh, just the right height for me to use as a ruler to stick them down and make sure they're straight. And then of course once I have got that all attached I'm going to use my glossy accents to give 
the letters a nice coat so that when they're dry they'll be nice and shiny. Now the word happy didn't stand out enough on that banner so I'm just taking my sharpie, a fine chip black sharpie and I'm just going to go over that with black so that it stands out. So that's it for today's layout. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. As I said, I'm going to put these all in an album for my mum for her 90th birthday, which is in December. Her birthday is actually on Christmas Eve, but we're having a party a bit earlier than that so that it doesn't clash with anything else. So, yeah, thanks again for watching my video, and um, I hope you can join me when I post my next video. Bye.